United States Army Air Cadets dive for cover as their own planes release harmless chalk bombs. Rehearsal for the real thing. The explosions look like the real thing. Proving ground for bombardiers and ground crews, they learn under fire. Another giant aircraft carrier joins the American Navy. Commander McAfee, head of the Women's Naval Auxiliary Forces, swings the champagne as she christens the new ship Franklin. At a shipyard on the Great Lakes, the hull of a destroyer escort vessel is ready for launching. Built bottom side up by new construction methods that save time and money, the ship is slowly turned into an upright position. Sideways, she hits the water with a splash. Newest addition to the United States fleet. The Chinese population of Toronto, Canada, parades in honor of Bak Yawang, Chiang Kai-shek's envoy to the Dominion. With traditional old world ceremonies, Chinese patriots living in the new world dedicate their lives to the downfall of Japan. The Alaska Highway, called the Burma Road of North America, connecting Edmonton, Alberta in the heart of Canada with Fairbanks, Alaska, the road stretches through 1,600 miles of the wildest territory. In convoys of a dozen or more, the huge trucks rumble over the long road 24 hours a day. Trucks filled with vital war supplies for Allied outposts in the Arctic. Relay stations dot the route every hundred miles. Each crew knows its own hundred mile stretch like a book. A control board charts the location of every convoy. While trucks are checked and refueled, the drivers get acquainted with some of the natives. On to Alaska. Dust masks protect the men over rough stretches as the trucks roll on over the new Northwest Passage. The town of Whitehorse, a beached riverboat, the Yukoner, is reminiscent of gold rush days. Today, Whitehorse is only a stopping off post on the road to Alaska. Oil, lifeblood of modern armies, dots this new Yukon Trail as day and night great allied convoys push ever northward. of the Allied Fifth Army pound Nazi lines in Italy, Allied planes continue to blast the enemy from the air. From Sicilian bases, they fly north 
over the volcanic island of Stromboli to drop their bombs on Nazi supply lines along Italian roads. tanks, manned by veteran British, Canadian, and American gunners, roll ahead. <laughs> Allied troops, entering a town just taken from the Nazis, are alert for lurking snipers. General Clark watches while his men clean up with gunfire and mortar. a concentration camp at Cosenza are open to release Czechs, Poles, Slavs, and German Jews imprisoned by the fascists. Food is distributed by officials of the Allied military government. The streets of Naples are all but deserted as first units of the 5th Army enter the city. Skirts, big equipment is massed, ready to move in. The city of Naples, now in allied hands. Scenes of jubilation as the main force of the Allied Fifth Army enters the city. Rarely in history has an invading army met with such welcome from a people whose government had been at war with the invader. This is how the people of Naples hailed the victorious Fifth Army. 